Welcome back now if you're just joining us you're still on to this morning and i have with me here uh two gentlemen um uh, malakai ogomado a lawyer and human rights activist and also debo adeleke a lawyer and political uh analyst now gentlemen uh, we left off talking about uh the road what can be done now let me just read this to you part of the administration of criminal justice act 2015 uh what i call probably the essence of this uh, uh law what they said this law is set out to help achieve one of it is to pr uh, promote efficient management of all criminal justice institutions uh ensure speedy dispensation of justice and also protection of the rights and interests of suspects and victims of crime. Now, we do have on our hand, just like I painted earlier on that, look, it took the United Kingdom in several instances in Alamesia, Dariye, mm -hmm. and all that before the Nigerian government agencies uh, woke up to the reality. Now, even if we say individuals have immunity, immunity does not uh, exclude the right to investigate anybody no. i guess so mm -hmm. so even if you cannot prosecute you can investigate and when the person loses that immunity mm -hmm. you should be able to move against the person mm -hmm. but from history it's like it's it's not been too easy or our agencies are going to be too effective and the worry out there is how do we make our agencies stronger if we're going to fight this corruption like this administration want to fight corruption how do we make sure that the institution are, are, are stronger how so what can be done yeah thank you um you see going straight to that position first there must be the political will mm -hmm. to make those institutions very very effective without political will it will not. I can give you two concrete examples. Look at the Ali Button. The Ali Button, those who are involved in the Ali Button scandal, mm. were already convicted in, in, in America and other in uh, America, and they were serving their sentences. The principal suspects, the collaborators, the facilitators, the people that are not the dark in it, in that scandal. They were still moving about in Nigeria with their babariga. And they were the even people now that determine the type of food you will eat tomorrow. I mean, they can serve your family. They become untouchable. It's because there is no, there is no lack of political will. And so it is this political will, I mean, there have been political something that created those agencies, whether we like it or not. So if, we don't, if they don't get the green light, and that is why some of us are not happy. No, no, they don't get the green light. If they don't get green light from the leadership. No, no, but, but, no, no, so, no, no, so, wait a minute, so wait a minute. I'll I want, come back, I'll I'll come back to, to you. Expand it. I want to okay. expand it. Okay. I want to expand it. Look at the recent case of Falai. It's a nice so and you people don't have Nigerians just look away. In an attempt to cover a monumental fraud by Falaye family. They tried to indict the Nigerian police. The Nigerian police said, this, there was no ransom paid, and I believe him for some reasons. The family said ransom was paid. This one was picked up within four days. The first, within 24 hours, the president of this country made a broadcast, national broadcast, and ordered for his immediate release by his capture. The Odudua OPC made a statement that, look, the country will be on fire if they don't release him. Three, the uh, Agbekoya of old made the same thing. The Nigerian police made the same thing. Within four days, the Nigerian police were monitoring the whole thing. And now, when the man was released, then the family, now that's that part of corruption and lack of uh, sincerity on our part. The family now said they paid ransom. Where did they pay it? When was it paid? How did they pay it? 
Within those four days, when there was fire on the so you're saying there should have been an yeah. investigation? Yeah, the, the reason, the, what I'm saying now is that that is frustrating. It's discouraging. Nigerian police, who ensure that 24 7 the whole place is being put under surveillance. Uh, but let me tell you the simple truth politicians, they are so greedy and self centered. They don't take care of their staff. So when there's an opportunity for their staff, to capitalize on, they will just, like that's what happened, that's what I, I am sure, and the police must still be encouraged to investigate. I'm interested, Nigerians are interested. Because mm. I know that no ransom was paid. Okay, okay, okay. you're so, so this sure some of, it, no ransom I'm, was paid. I'm 100% sure, not, because not. I listened to the IG, and the present political formation is improving. Okay. Why do you give the police bad name? Because you, because of, he, they should go and, he should go and check himself and his people. We want to know who paid that money, who took that money there, when okay. and where and okay. how. Okay. This, 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 are another, this, 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 this is another side. This yeah, are these another are the side things that me. are discouraging. Now, that Ma Ma made Malaka, let me come to you on this particular one. He has just talked about uh, ransom was paid, ransom was not paid. So the words of Fala against the words of the police. Probably there's going to be an investigation to know the true situation of things. But let's, let's, let's look at it also. He made, point, he made a point that while he was talking that uh, until you get the green lights, from somewhere and I wonder that for instance the EFCC and the ICPC there are agencies created and uh, should there be a green light from somewhere or maybe somebody is not really doing what they were created to do and you're waiting for a green light and that is the reason why you've been very ineffective I want you to shed light on this under Andoka and Adoka <laughs> under Andoka Mm. And Adoki. <laughs> okay. You know, the <laughs> coincidence in the names are also re reflected in their style of activities. Under those two regimes, so pretending the Ministry of Justice, they were not covert, they mm. were overt moves, practically implemented to ensure that that green line must first be sought before they can move. No, but, but what is the position of the law in that regard? The EFCC, the ICPC, the NDLEA, and all agencies police. of government that has prosecutorial powers, including the police, oh. can take up issues of crime, fraud, and so on and so forth without a complainant. We, we, without without a complainant. Now, now, Malak, let me just, before you go on, let me just ask you this. If we knew that, and when the minister said, look, they have to take that permission, you know, you, was it you challenged? Must, you must have a way of allowing us to develop our thoughts. I've just made a preliminary statement okay. to tell you how agencies of government are even created, constituted to effectively deal with a challenge, and they turn out to be the problem from EFCC to ICPC to NDLE, in short, in NDLEA, I have had a case against them in which we pointedly challenged them to produce one drug baron oh. who was captured. I'm not talking of uh, couriers, yeah? these small, small ones that they sent to go and carry them. One drug baron, and they couldn't. So. You, you, it's not like what goes on in the National Assembly. Eh? You remember the Ndudi Elumelu committee? Uh -huh. eh? You create a committee, it becomes a problem. You remember uh -huh. our friend Farouk? Farouk, eh? yeah. you, you remember uh, Hembe? Uh -huh. eh? Eh? To okay, deal uh, with... Uh, so, 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 sorry, I have a call on the line. <laughs> I'll come back to you, Malakai. <laughs> Reverend Dominic, good morning. Good morning, Oshimamo. How yeah. are you? I'm okay. Nice to have you join us. Uh, bro, okay. Good morning. Good morning, Reverend. Yeah. It's nice hearing you again. We good morning, it. sir. Thank you very, very much. Good morning. Reverend, <laughs> we are here. Uh, I disagree with your Shimomo that this administration is fighting corruption. No, this administration is not fighting corruption. It is Buhari that is fighting corruption. Mm. How do I mean? Okay. Administration is executive, legislature, and judiciary. And judiciary is not part of it. Legislature is not part of it. It also is one man army and it can't work. How do I say that? How could a legislator looking for immunity? Why should a legislator look for immunity? Why, why are you looking for immunity if you are anti-plain? 
And again, this menstruation also cannot fight corruption because they have the moral body. If the head of the menstruation is answering a criminal case, how could that menstruation fight corruption? That's the challenge of it. The issue is that we are going to work in Nigeria, like I've said to my groups, we are going to go back to 20, to put the government on toes. Hence, the head has shown a character of fighting corruption. We show we and say all is well. All is not well. The reason is this. There's one man, every time I see Barista, every time I see this one of your senior colleagues, I remember the death of Kenzo Iwewa, and whenever I see him defending any matter, my, my spirit goes down. That one who stood, okay. and the hang one of their brother, he was better than my president of MPA. All right, thank you very much. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much, Reverend. You've, made, you've made your point. The same person. Now, now, now uh, yeah. um, uh, Malaka, I caught you off yeah. while you were establishing a point. Yes. Please, can you go on? It's unfortunate. Well, um, the thoughts are gone, but we can manage to re retrace it. If I can just make a short reference to okay. what the Reverend has just said. Okay. I agree 100% that in spite of the fact that we have high hope that Wari has come to fight corruption as one of the principal campaign issue, which made most of us voted for him. He is not doing it the right way. I must say it, and Nigerians. He is not doing it the right way. He is not doing it. Okay, let me take this call. I'll I'll come back to you, Chris from Allen. Chris, good morning. Hello, good morning, gentlemen. Good Thank you. Good morning, now, sir. I'm hoping that at some point the media and the judicial, um, well, the judiciary lawyers, they they come together and do a public awareness campaign of the electorate power to recall their representatives at the upper and lower houses of uh, chambers, because. Um, until the electorate really understands the power that resides with them. The senators and the House of Rep members, mm. their excesses would not be put in check by anybody. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much, Chris. That's a, that's okay. a very valid, mm. it's valid but very let me just quickly make this something. Mm. Why I said the president, because as a lawyer, I cannot just make a statement without supporting it, that is not... In fact, is the way he's fighting corruption now is far below our expectations, far below Nigeria's expectations, and we're getting angry and annoyed. Okay, I'll, 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 come, I'll, come, I'll, come, I'll come back to you. I just wanted to establish okay. a point. I'll come okay. back. Okay. Now, now the, the, why I said his statement is valid is because uh, first is to enter a caveat on that. Look, we shouldn't wait for the media and the lawyers alone. Oh. I, I used to have leaders in the past who were not, who were not lawyers. Bekor and Sokuti led the civil society in this country up to the point where Nigerians waited to hear him before mm. they took action. Mm. Oh. Chima Obani was not a lawyer, mm. oh. and so on and so forth. So I challenge a man, the, the last contributor, who made such a valid point to identify the civil society organizations. We know there are challenges out there, but some of us have effectively operated in those circles. And you see, why it's very important like he alluded to, is that there's also institutional failures in this country. The whole essence of legislature, that is the legislative arm of government in constitutional democracy, is to check the excesses of the executive. Oh. That never happens. Now, it is because of the failure of that institution to, as representative arm of government to, to carry the wish and aspiration of the people. This is why you have active or seemingly active civil society groups. It is therefore the responsibility of Nigeria. And thank God for the revolution in social media and so on and so mm -hmm. forth, where mm -hmm. you can even participate without practically Okay, being okay, involved. okay. Let's have our, uh, one of our guests, uh, uh, viewers, participate also. Apostle Diamond, good morning. Good morning, my brother. Sorry to, uh, that I kept you uh, waiting for too long. Uh, no problem. Um, I want to I want to, uh, to ask um, my friend a question. I'm also from Delta City. And I school in SPC area. I did my HSC in the SPC club. And left there in 1974. Compare that place now to St. Gary's College in Lagos. 
Das muss es auch sein. Das ist ein Unternehmen, ein Vergnügen. Please go to Delta City. Come to it as we get all the people in government to change their mind and change their heart. If they continue with the way they are doing, we will clear all of them like a body and God will visit all of them. Number two, the way a man, um, the, law, the lawyer, especially the most senior, are dealing with the issues of this country. He could note that most of them they don't have the, the welfare of Nigeria in their house. It's a shame. Number three, I want to uh, uh, also the lawyer to campaign that all, any lawyer who violates or tends to delay through injunction or all these Apostle, I may have to just uh, uh, mm -hmm. cut, cut you off there. Thank you so much for your contributions. Uh, yes, but, 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 but sorry, sorry he meant, mm -hmm. you know, he was talking about, okay. uh, although the issue is not Delta City, but I didn't quite get the first question. I got the second and third question. But if he is concerned about Delta State, look, he should uh, realize that every right thinking member of that state is deeply worried. Now, I'm thinking of a state that was led for eight years by a thief. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not saying this. This is the judgment of court. You, you can't accuse me. Mayor, he was accused. He was I, I had, as I a had, common thief. I had, he's, yeah. he's a common thief. That, he was that, said, he, he didn't even. The, the, the judgment said, went he's ahead. He's a common thief. The judgment went That's ahead. That's how they destroyed somebody who governed us. The judgment who went ahead to say that he had no creativity whatsoever. Exactly. And that he stole his way blindly into government house. That is James Ibori, and I'm wishing that I should be able to take my kids to go and see this man. Now, I had the privilege of meeting his successor, twice or thrice. I have no memory of what we discussed. Even as a medical doctor, I can tell you that I do not think that he turned around the affair. So for 16 years, we were just there. And, and this whole called oil producing rich state, if, you, if, I, if I show you how I travel to my village, for instance, you will, pick, you will insist that I shouldn't sit down here <laughs> okay. on record. I don't want to hear that sound <laughs> because I want you so to sit down I'm here. I'm inviting that man who has spoken so well to identify people like us so that we, we, we conscript him into the next move that must visit that stage. Thank okay. you. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let, let me go to this other aspect. I kept saying that yes. uh, what is the way forward? And in this sense that, yes. okay, like when the CCT came up, the Code of Conduct Tribunal came up, yes. the presidency brought, uh, came up with a statement that the presidency is not involved. Good. Now, that simply explains something that, look, you don't need the body language of the president per se. Good. You don't need the president to say, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. You're an agency created to, to do a job. Yes. And you don't need prompting from anywhere. I mm -hmm. think that was a message they tried to pass yes. out. You don't need prompting yes. from anywhere. Yes. Now, if we kept saying that, look, we must do things rightly, our anti-corruption agencies yes. must rise up to the occasion. Yes. Is it that we need a total overhaul of those agencies? Or we need to talk to the lawmakers to take a look at the the, the statute book that, that that set them up mm -hmm. and see where they have challenges and fix because we must be able to move forward corruption must be dealt with and the way it is it's like we're not moving too well yes. so so what can be done first it will still start with the leadership our most referring president he is not living up to expectation and when the leadership is correct, everybody will take it. Look at it. When Buhari was uh, the first president, he introduced the Q culture. Up to today, that Q culture is still there. You go to a various uh, motor park, you see people keying. It, it had never happened before. That was because his body language, his willpower, political power and everything, as the head of state, together with Tunde Idiagwa, was actually in support of that. Why we are saying now that we are disappointed is that in, in a legal circle we say he who goes to equity must go with clean hands. Look at what is going around now in the social media about one of the ministerial nominees. 
who himself claimed that he joined politics because he could not get a job when he as a degree and as a graduate of uh, literature in English, he couldn't get a job. He joined politics. Tell me, was your mama, the type of work the man does 24 hours a day that will make him so rich when he became the governor okay. to the extent of having a private jet. And it is a part of this process that he was using to, to promote the, the present president. Okay. And he's not nominating him as the something, even when they are, so that's what we are talking about, that he doesn't need with that they are, they, 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 the VFCC, and this are, they don't need to wait for the, uh, the president something. Okay. But because okay. they know that it's uh, a so, president so, so, boy. I, would, I want to pick a yeah, caller sorry, on the line. Because they believe that it's a president boy. That's why they are not doing what okay. they're supposed now, to now, do. I have a Kemi uh -uh. on the line. A Kemi Funa, good morning. Good morning, please. Yeah, nice to I have want you. to ask the learned gentleman there, how is it possible for the president to handle the petroleum ministry and at the same time be able to fight corruption? God bless you. I, 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 I don't see it happening. And I, uh, is, it, is it possible for Nigeria to be able to move the defense ministry back to the headquarters if the Boko Haram problem never ends? You know, I want to know. Thank you. Thank you very much. You want, you want to volunteer? Any? Of course. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let, me well, let me start from the issue of petroleum ministry. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria imposes a duty on the president to exercise his discretion in the appointment of ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He did not insist that there must be a minister for this or minister of that, even mm. if he says at least one should come from each of the states of the Federation. Uh, and so a lot has to do with the discretion of the president. And that's why you are practicing presidential system of government. If we have issues with that, we can only change it if we revisit the kind of government that we are oh. operating. Now, having said that, it is also important to remind Madam that uh, it did happen under President uh, Obasanjo. Mm -hmm. Now, but I think that her worry, which is quite germane, is to what extent can you fight corruption when you should pretend as a president over the administration, the administration. I mean, uh, Ministry of uh, Justice? I think the simple Petroleum. question, uh, Petroleum. never mind, we are all lawyers, I'm bothered <laughs> about justice and all that. Uh, the, the minister of, I mean, the president superintending the affairs of Petroleum Ministry, uh, if you ask that question, it will seem as though it is only in the Ministry of Petroleum that there are corrupt uh, activities. Oh. No doubt, it remains one of the very cardinal ministries for the revenue uh, 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 Papa, Papa, like I, I was come definitely come back to well. just have a call i think my last caller for today um what did the i guess good morning good morning sir good morning sir um Biblis, i want to talk about the president the nominee i believe strongly that the most important factor in performance is the leadership I believe that since we have a strong leadership in President Buhari, who will not condone corruption, it will be virtually impossible, you know, for any of his military nominees not to key into his uh, values. Otherwise, he will be shot out and they will be removed immediately. Okay, th okay, 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 thank you. Just because of time, thank you for, for that point you have established. Uh, let me come back to you. I agree with him. Yeah. I did see that even for the next one year, we're likely going to see the removal of some ministers. Hmm. I think that given the political exigency of the time, those, some of those who made the ministerial leave made it because of the exigency of the time. I so. see some of them leaving before the end of okay, the year. Okay, just last one, last one for <laughs> you because of time. Just I, less, I, than, I, one, I less than one minute, please. Uh, yes, I don't agree <laughs> that the president is doing what we thought he should be doing. If he, is, he wants to elect ministerial uh, ministers, is you take people that are less controversial, corruption-wise. Okay. Okay, Not let them because okay. he gives a, somebody a position because okay. he has been the one that's financing his But, 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 that, but that is what you think. That might not be the That, that, that is the, the general position <laughs> of Nigeria. Thank you so much, gentlemen, <laughs> for, for coming on the show today, on this morning. That's uh, Debo Adeleke, lawyer and political analyst. We appreciate it. Malaka Ogumado, a lawyer me. and human rights activist. We do appreciate you. Join us for a fresh edition tomorrow at half past ten. I am Eshomomo Imodu. And the breakfast show continues with Sports Center.
in a moment. From me, it's bye and God bless Nigeria. Thank you.